mountains out here this morning. Yes, sir. A little chilly. The mountains around us have quite a bit of snow on top, so I'm pretty sure it's uh, going to be here to stay. Don't know of any forecast where it calls for any good, good highs. So today we're going to try and get this shed completed. Trying to sharpen up my saw chain here. This poor, poor thing has ate some metal over the years. What am I saying? Over the months. <laughs> but got to keep it, keep it going. These are not cheap. I'm trying to do my best to get, maintain the 10 degrees on the tooth. And at the same time using this thing, I'm also getting down the, what they call the raker or the depth gauge. Since I haven't touched those in a while, I figured I'd touch some of those off. My future plans, I'm gonna be getting a bigger round file so I can get the, uh, what do they call that, the gullet? of the tooth it's like the horseshoe shape of the tooth it, I took it in to get uh, get it sharpened before and you can see where they they used a grinder and kind of dug into the horseshoe there. I'm gonna just clean that up one of these days maybe get a cleaner cut but yeah mom uh, estimates that we need about five more boards to finish up the last wall days ago we were able to get the frame for the door and the door jam completed so today I hope we will get those get those hung attach our latches be able to lock this thing up keep the honest people honest Then we move on to the freaking foundation to get that pour before it freezes. Another thing I did this morning was I uh, picked some, uh, some of my crab apples in the backyard at the, at the house. Finished picking my uh, hot peppers. I think I had, uh, I'll call it one and a half red ones, the Cajun bells, the rest of them are pretty small. They uh, didn't grow very fast in this uh, miserable summer that we had. Well, I shouldn't say miserable. It was pretty wet. So, all right, we'll see how bad I messed that up, and then uh, we'll cut some boards. So, thank you. So, uh, thanks for watching and tuning in to our channel. If you uh, would grace us with a subscription, that'd be great. It helps the channel grow. And if you uh, care to leave a comment on how uh, poorly executed I sharpen my chain, feel free to let me know because I'm no expert by any means. And uh, thanks for watching, so stay tuned.
it goes a lot faster when you got the proper depth on your chain and got them sharpened. <laughs> Put this over here for now. In case it starts pouring down rain, I'll have it inside. Put in the door frame to the panel wall. So when I cut the door out, I got one side screwed in to the door jam and one side screwed into the door. Okay, it's all done. Okay, I got, I got that side all done up. I'm use the, the handsaw. I'm going to use a chainsaw. And it's probably going to be a little messy out there. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to cut down some, and then I'm going to put a spacer in and put a screw through it. Yeah, I figured that. Okay. I, I was just thinking. So that we're going to we're going to keep cutting, and then we'll spacer <laughs> screw it right all the way down. Do that. Once we get that done, right? And then we'll, we'll come up, obviously not hit our hinges, obviously, right? And then that'll tell us where they're at on the other side. And then the other side, gently try and cut through that stuff, probably with a table saw or the uh, hand saw. All right, and that's how we're gonna do it. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Honestly, something that makes sense to somebody. Let the fun begin. Well, uh, uh, you're okay. We we see where you started. Okay. And looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Did your belly button screwed? Uh, that hit me with his glasses. <laughs> no, I hit you oh, with, okay. with your ear. Oh, what do you call that, Jim? It looks like a real nasty crack. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How come I didn't feel it? Oh, got it. You want to look at it? Again? Yeah, I bet. Uh, yeah. Let me look. Let's See how come I didn't here. feel it? Come here. It's all the way through. Yeah. See, oh. It's a twist. Oh, well, darn. Well, the twist got right right here. Clear through. Which is okay because, you know what? That might be the right. Uh, God right provides, here. I'm telling you. That might be the right angle. So we're going to cut this one off. We're gonna cut this off and uh, I'll put some more thing over here. This is gonna use the right clear. What? We're just gonna be able to, somebody's just gonna have to hold it and we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. We'll get her. We'll get her. Put my drill here, over here. Have a, have a brush. All right, everyone's got their gears and stuff? Yep. Oh boy. All right, let's do it. 
Well, let's cut this last piece on this log and be done with the left-handed twist log. Yeah. I'd like to say a special thank you to a certain person today. His name's Jerry. He happens to be our neighbor. If it wasn't for him, a lot of this work wouldn't be done right now. That's true. Yeah. He takes no for an answer. <laughs> he does anything. He we'll does most no of it on his yeah. own, and he don't ask anything. And he's always giving us stuff. So... I want a special thanks to Jerry. Yeah, thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. See this sun shining just the right way. I can't see it. Ooh, got that. <laughs> got that a lot. <laughs> that knot didn't want to uh, darken up. That's all right. Get out there. You know, when you're out here on the farm, you, uh, Use what you got, and all I have is a sharpie. So. And the creative bug bites you. You take it like a man. You create something, or a woman. Or Or whatever you just go and you just create something you know and I didn't want this piece of wood here to end up in the burn barrels to provide us heat instead I wanted to have it provide us with a little signage in case uh, down the road we forget what this uh, little sheds for and in case you all don't know the shed is a place for stuff. So that is what we have here. Place for stuff. My poor Sharpie is uh, running out of uh, ink. But you know, I figure if we get this going and the sun will come out, the geese will keep flying. We'll have some hot dogs over the old fire. Have a good old time, you know. Get ready for the weekend. I've already got my uh, plans made for uh, PFD. It's going to be spinning oils. My home, away from home. Yep. I already got my eye on a cement mixer. Unless you want to do it in your, uh, your, uh, uh, what do you call it? Wheelbarrow by hand. Well, we've done it before. Yeah. Not that many. No, you have, we have, you have quite a few uh, pilings yeah. to put in. Nine. Nine now. Hey, Dad, have you figured out where the sign's going? You pick out the place where the sign's going on the shed so we know that it's a place for stuff. So maybe a lot of people that watch this uh, don't know what a PFD is. Well, here in Alaska... 
uh, back in the 70s, they came up, uh, the legislature and stuff, came up with the process of all minerals taken out of the state of Alaska basically go back into what they call a permanent fund dividend, or a permanent fund, I should say, not dividend, permanent fund. And of that, every year, uh, part of that permanent fund gets distributed to the citizens of Alaska, the residents of Alaska. And uh, this year they've uh, agreed recently that it's gonna be $1,100. And that's from the oil and the minerals and all that other stuff. So when you buy land in Alaska, you do not own the mineral rights. Those belong to the state. So if we find a big old vein of gold or a big old thing of oil, it's everyone's. And all the, all the monies from that go into the permanent fund. That is in layman's terms. So don't quote me on any of that. And it's for every man, woman, or child. The child has to been born within, be what, a year old? Is that right? Before they're uh, so, uh, there's qualified. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you get, and if you move here, you got a, what is it, a year or something? Yeah, that you one year. Be mm -hmm. here. So. One year. Calendar year. Yeah. Calendar. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So it all I mean, works this, out. You don't want to move to Alaska just for the PFD because basically you'll be homeless. And you have to claim it on your taxes. Oh, absolutely. Yep. The government's going to get their share. Absolutely. Absolutely. I guess we pay, the taxes come out of ours when we get ours. Is, that, is that the way it works? No. No, that's not the way it works. Okay. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. The legislature decides. The government, I should say, basically decides where all the stuff is they're going to spend it on. And yep. there's some people that don't uh, want their PFDs and give them to uh, nonprofit organizations. I've noticed on the state website that uh, yeah, there's lots, lots, lots yeah, of nonprofit organizations that you can uh, apply your money towards or part of it or, you know, whatever you want to do. So it's a win-win. All right, let's see. What do you think? Oh, you want it on the door? The door on the side here. I want, that'd be good. I would like to know if I could put something above the door. Absolutely. You know what? Yeah, sure. Antlers. Yeah, you bet. Those we can caribou do that. antlers. They ah. should be dried out good by now. So this is good? Or do you want it lower? No. Perfect. Right there. Right there? You thinking this is good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let's see if I can put them. A place for stuff. <laughs> uh, All right. Yeah. Have fun, people. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Goof off, have fun. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Right, what time is it? The lunch time yet? A little after one. Is it? Yeah. No way. It's Today's Jimmy. menu for our lunch here at camp is hot dogs roasted over an open fire with plenty of trimmings. Stuff from our garden, like zucchini relish. Uh, we have s'mores for dessert, the genuine stuff. So you can't really say we're roughing it too much, but we're enjoying the hell out of it, I'm telling you right now. 